Watching a number of moves in the biotech space today after Swiss pharmaceutical company Roche says its Alzheimer drug had failed to slow patients' decline in phase three studies. Both Biogen and Eli Lilly moved higher. Remember, they had their own treatments in development. Biogen said in September that its drug had shown promising results. Let's bring in Salim Sayed, senior biotech analyst at Mizuho. He's got a buy rating and a $325 price target on Biogen. Was the Roche news a big surprise? Hey, thanks for having me, Sarah. I mean, look, the, the Roche trial of the three big trials in Alzheimer's, Biogen, ASI, Eli Lilly, and uh, the Roche trial, of course, this was the riskiest one of the bunch. We haven't seen actually any you know, promising phase three data prior. So the street was actually not putting in too much into models for this particular product, but it was a longer trial. So it could have gone either way. Uh, we're not terribly surprised by the news, uh, but you know, there was a little bit probably we'd say uh, in consensus numbers for Roche. Does it, does it make sense that Biogen would go up on this news from a competitive position? I know theirs is faring better in terms of trial data, but, but was, there, was there a question really about, about the size of We know there's a ton of demand, in other words. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, this is, this is a positive for Biogen, I would say, probably on two fronts here. You know, the first one is obviously that, you know, we wipe out a competitor from the space, right? So it's one of the key questions that investors are trying to, uh, you know, figure out at the moment. What is the size of the Alzheimer's market and how does it eventually get split up? So today's news kind of removes one of those variables from the picture here. Uh, in that, you know, Roche, Roche, is, Roche does not now have a, uh, you know, a horse in the race. Um, I think the second question here is obviously, you know, what does this mean for Biogen? You know, this is, this is a company where there is a growing mm -hmm. thesis amongst the investor base, uh, you know, in terms of acquisition. And if Roche is now out of the picture, would they be interested in a company like Biogen? Mm. Oh, you think there's a, there's a potential deal to happen here? I mean, look, it is a growing thesis amongst uh, some of the biotech specialists that we speak to, and Roche, Roche and Biogen are already partnered on a couple of other products, right? So if Roche would like to stay in Alzheimer's, this would be an avenue for them. They do have enough purchasing power uh, to do such a deal. If they, if they, if they wanted to, um, you know, probably they'd have to issue a little bit of stock for that sort of thing. Uh, but, you know, this is something that, you know, amongst the larger Alzheimer's picture here, I mean, just remember, you know, this is a yeah. company, this is a company here where, you know, Alex Denner, prominent investor who's on, on the board of Biogen, once sold, uh, you know, Genzyme, uh, was part of that, mm. came to Sanofi when Chris Vibach, Biogen's newly appointed CEO, uh, you know, to, to Sanofi, right, to Chris right. Vibach. Chris Vibach is yeah. now the new CEO of Biogen, right? So, so you wonder, like, you know, some of these things, you know, is there something behind closed doors that was discussed in terms of dual tracking something here, keeping Biogen as a standalone or perhaps, you know, selling the company within the next couple of years. So the, the M&A question gets to my broader question, Said, about where we are in biotech right now. IBB, it's had a great month, uh, obviously rebounding double digits, and it has actually outperformed the S&P 500 this year, although it's coming off of a rough stretch. Where are we in the, in the innovation M&A cycle that would make this group a good bet right now? Well, look, you know, 2021 and 2022 have been tough years for biotech investors. You know, it's, it's very rare that we actually see two really bad years for the biotech sector. You know, my particular view here is that we've bottomed, we bottomed, you know, in the summer of this year in terms of, you know, decline or, and pressure on the sector. You know, as we go into 2023, you know, we would think folks become constructive again. We now have two broad themes in in biotech. One is obviously Alzheimer's. The other here is obesity. Both of these are newly created $10 billion plus categories for the space. And one question that, mm -hmm. you know, I'm starting to think about now is whether generalists would also come into the sector, you know, in 23 and 24, especially now that we've had the Inflation Reduction Act uh, put into place, the drug pricing discussions, you know, sort of been addressed. All right. Well, we, we've got to leave it there. So I appreciate you joining me.